So hello everyone. I'm going to make a little experiment today. Basically, someone has been asking me um, if the what advantage there is to a film cam uh, as opposed to your face or a, a free spray cam. So I'm going to show that uh, to you here. Mostly it's convenience, but actually there is more to it than that. Um, there are actually repairs that you won't be able to find with a freeze cam that you will be able to easily find with a thermal cam. So I'm going to show you that now. So here I have a phone, an iPhone 6, and I'm going to put that on the screen here. So here I have an iPhone 6, and it's been worked on before by a different company. It's a um, um, backlight repair. What I've done with this phone, I've limited the current draw to 44 milliamps. Um, and basically, it, it, it's got a short of about uh, 80 to 150, I believe. It's fluctuating between that. And specifically, it's the backlight driver that's actually causing that fluctuation, and that's the cause of that. So I'm going to show you um, the actual difference between the two. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to the thermal cam first, which is gonna be my handheld camera because I'm recording audio from my iPad, so I don't know how that's gonna work. So I'm gonna handheld record it. So first of all, there we are, I'm recording now from my iPhone. Its current limit is set to 44 milliamps. So that's the phone there. And I'm gonna turn it on now. And three, two, one, boom. It lights up straight away. This is a 44 milliamp short. That is easily spotted, easily. Now, what happens when I, when I actually use the uh, free spray? So let me just switch to the other cam again. Now remember, this was easily spotted on the thermal camera. But what happens when I switch to free spray. So it's off now, it's not actually drawing anything. There you go. And I mean, you saw the bit next to the chip and then, then it's, it's not doing anything. It's still, it's still drawing, it's still drawing current. It's still drawing 44 milliamps, it's not even melting. Nothing's happening. So, and on the thermal cam, uh, even though it's f filled with ice, let me just switch to the other camera again. Even though it's full of ice now, you can still very faintly see, if I switch it on, boom, lights up. Boom, lights up. And that's the reason why I use a thermal cam. This camera has paid for itself within five minutes of having it. That's why I use it. Thanks for watching.